What's up, guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. And today we are going to look into how to utilize the record setting for Mega Live and some ways that you can use that to just kind of practice on settings and things like that at home. And also just how to use the record settings in general. So uh, first, let me just say, guys, if you have invested the funds into getting this Mega Live transducer, take the time to go through your Mega Live imaging installation guide. Don't just rely on comments that you are seeing on YouTube and in the forums and things like that to get your information because there are guys out there that are giving information that have not read the installation guide themselves and they may not have fully gone through some of the features in here and they may just kind of be guessing and just putting that information out there so it may throw you off a little bit. So I would say you can trust, but verify. I would always verify the information that you're getting so that it works out for you. Um, so thank you for clicking on the video and tuning in. Please remember to join me every Tuesday and Thursday where we go over some form of electronics or graphing techniques, things that will help you out on the water. If there are certain things that you want to know or certain things that you would want to see um, gone over or reviewed, please leave a comment and put your suggestions in the comment section. And hey, it may come up on the next, um, the next video whenever we're going through some things. But first, um, let me go ahead and just show you this. So right now it's showing that the Mega Live is disabled and out of water. So if you want to test the system out just to see um, it come on you can um, take a look at the transducer itself and you'll see these two dots right here basically those are the water sensors or the wet sensors when those are in submerged in water or they are wet and form a connection then that will um, turn that system on and the screen will come on so what you can do at home is if you don't want to submerge that into say a bucket of water or a trash can or something like that full of water so that it will make that connection you can just take some spit on your fingers or if you're a little more sophisticated, take some saliva and touch these two sensors with it. And what you'll see is you may take us. There you go. So now it's on and you can see the screen actually moving. Um, it's not really going to show too much because it's not underwater, but you can see that it is active now. But. As soon as that dries up, it'll go back to being disabled. But for what we're doing today, you do not need to have the um, system enabled um, with the transducer. Let's see. So first, what we're going to do is hit this menu button twice. Well, actually, you just hit it once when you're already on the, the Mega Live full imaging screen. Um, before we do that, let me just show you this real quick. If you are on a split screen, so let's say we have a split screen. There we go. So we have the Mega Live on one side and we have mapping on the other side. You would want to go to your menu button and the very top option is going to show whether it is active on the left or the right side. Right now it's set on the right side. So it would the, the settings and everything that you will be adjusting will affect this right side. That's just a quick tip. But basically for our purpose today, we're going to have it on full screen. So I have my shortcuts already set up. So all I do is hit this first shortcut button and it will take me back to the full Mega Live screen. So from there, we're going to hit the menu button once and just familiarize yourself with all of these settings in here. The main things we're going to be looking at today are going to be your sensitivity, contrast. You can play around with the, with the dynamic contrast if you like, the forward range and the down range. We'll play around with the Mega Live colors, the palettes, um, the different palette options that we have there. Persistence mode, that is something that I use on a regular basis. The grids are currently turned on. Sometimes people turn those off, so we could just turn those off for now just so you can see. But let's kick that back on. Then go down to record Mega Live. There we go. Let's see. And that is the final option at the bottom. So once we get down there, what you want to do is hit the right arrow key. And that will bring you to another menu. So from here, you see that you have the, it will choose the, it will show you the SD card that has the recordable um, SD card, the SD slot that will have the recordable SD card in it. So if you look down here, you have your 
SD cards. And these are numbered. Let's see if we can see those numbers on there. So you see number one and number two on there. So right now, the SD card is in slot number two, which is indicated right here. You have your Mega Live start recording. So if you were to go down to that, hit the right arrow key, it would start recording. These will show you the, the Mega Live playback select will show you the recordings that you have already done. So if you hit the right arrow key, it'll scroll through those. So we have one, two, three recordings that were previously done. And next we have Mega Live playback start. So if you wanted to play back one of these recordings from your three options, well, from the three options that I currently have here, you just put it on the option that you want to start to play so that you can see what you actually recorded on the lake. You would just pick the option that way. So let's see, Mega Live playback start. The other option is to delete. So if you wanted to delete one of these, then you would just delete it that way. So what we can do is just make a recording right now just to kind of step through it, which is very quick and simple. Let's just go back up to Mega Live recording start. We're going to hit the right arrow key and now it is recording. And what you will see is it will flash down at the bottom and show that it is, re it is recording. So if you are out on the water, that's basically all that you do. And now it will record that entire session um, for the length of time that you leave it recording. Whenever you're ready to stop, you just hit the menu button once again. Um, then you go back to record Mega Live and you hit the right arrow key. Mega Live recording stop. Hit it to the right and there you go. Now it has stopped recording. Now you want to go back and hit the menu button again. That'll take you back into the settings for the recording. Record Mega Live is right here. So you hit the right button again. And now you saw we had three recordings before. Now let's go. We should have four. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually I had um, four recordings already. So now we have five. So in order to play that, Mega Live playback start, you can hit play, but it's not going to move because we didn't really record anything. Um, so let's hit the menu button once, go back here, go back to the right, and Mega Live playback stop. So to stop it from playing, just hit, the, hit it to the right, and then that will take you back out of there and stop it from playing. All right, so let's go back in here, menu button once, record Mega Live, hit the right arrow key. All right, so now let's go and actually play with a recording that was previously done. So the recordings that I have, they're, these are purely just for the purpose of just going through these settings. Um, whenever you're out on the water and you spend more time with your recordings, you can come up with some better images than what I have here. These are just some things that I did real quickly out on the water. But let's just take a look at number three. So all we do is go to the, um, the number three option on here. Mega Live playback start. We'll go to that. And then from there, we'll hit the right arrow key. Now, this will show you what I was recording while I was out on the lake. And what you will see basically from here is some uh, uh, bridge pilings. And it's just going through the different, um, different views on here. I'm just panning left and right on this bridge, just looking to see if I can see fish, um, brush pals or what type of structure that I see down in this area. You'll see some fish right up here Let's get a little closer on that. So you'll see some fish out out there and you can see that those are about 15 feet away from the boat and The current setting goes all the way out to about 80 So the purpose of this will allow you to take this recording because maybe you only have an hour out on the water and you want to spend more time fishing than trying to dial your system in or things like that. Because, yes, you should get out there and learn how to use the system while you're out on the water. But, hey, sometimes you want to get out there and you want to spend your time fishing. Maybe when you're back at home, you have the time where you can go back and play around with the settings on here. So now you have recorded your session when you're out on the water. You can come in here and hit the menu button. You can go through the settings now and play with these settings so we can change the color palettes. All right. So so now the recording has stopped. So what we have to do is go back and hit menu again. 
Let me see. Hit the menu button once. And we will go back to record mega live, hit the right arrow key, playback stop. We're going to stop it, hit menu, go back into the menu setting again, record mega live, right arrow key. And we're going to go back down and we're going to go to mega live playback start. We're going to do that again. So now let's hit the, the start button on that. And actually that was number one. Let's go back out of here and just go back to number three again. So we're going to stop this record on number one. Hit menu and go back and change that to the third recording, which is the bridge palings. Mega Live playback start. Hit the right arrow key. There we go. So now you want to hit the menu button again. And like I was showing you, you can go through and change the different color palettes. Um, let me see. Let's go back and start that again. Playback start. There we go. All right, so hit the menu button. All right, there we go. So now we just go through here and you can change the different color palettes. Um, pretty much, I like the color palette number three in general. Um, you can change your persistence mode so we could turn it off. So now you see that purple haze is gone. There's the fish over there. The reason I like using the pers persistence mode is because it will show a trail so you can see which direction those fish are moving in. Um, some people, it may cause a little bit too much clutter for your liking, but hey, if that's the case, just go ahead and turn that off. Um, then we can go back up here and adjust, for example, the down range. So let's bring that in. No, let's bring, yeah, let's bring it down some. And that way, it'll make it more condensed. It'll show more definition that way. Um, we can also bring in the range. Bring it in or take it out. And see how it makes it more defined, but it's making it smaller at the same time. So it's more defined. Those could be a, a group of crappy right there as I'm panning around. This was actually during a tournament. So... I didn't uh, really have the time to try to catch some of those to see. Um, and it was a bass tournament, so I didn't really want to take the time to see if I could catch those fish. Um, now, let's see. So the recording stopped again. So we want to hit the menu button, go back into. Let's see. There we go. Record Mega Live. And let's just take a look at one of the other. Uh, so we have to stop it. And we will go back into menu and just take a look at one of the other settings real quick. One of the other recordings. Let's see. We can take a look at number two. Let's just see what the number two is. Go down to Mega Live Playback. Hit the start button. And there we go on this one. So this one's probably going to be one where it was a lay down in the water. And I was just going back and forth. So you can see the the branches and things like that whenever it's um, going over it. There was a little fish right there. Um, so it's pretty much the same thing. This recording isn't that long, but you can hit the menu button and you can go through and play with the range, the, the um, sensitivity, the contrast, dynamic contrast. And I don't want to go through all of these things here, guys, but the purpose of this was just to show you guys the quick and simple way it is um, all it takes for you to be able to record your session while you're out on the water and come back and replay that at home and play with the sensitivity, the contrast, the dynamic contrast, your forward range. You can adjust these to make that picture the best that you can get it so that now whenever you go back to the water, you're familiar with these settings and you may be able to set it up to where you can leave it on those settings. So when you go back out to the water, everything will be fine. But for me, um, especially with my um, the forward range and down range, those are things that I change on a regular basis. So whenever I'm on whenever I'm searching, I may search out to, say, 89, well, 70 to 90 feet, depending on, you know, what I'm looking for, because I have found that you can see fish. You can see structure and stuff like that at those farther distances. Whenever you move in and you're actually going to take the time to fish something, you may want to bring this range all the way in from I right now have it on 110 so you may want to bring that all the way in to say 
50 feet or something like that. So that way you can really target exactly what you're fishing. Let me go ahead and take that to 50 and let's bring this down. Since the water depth right here is 15, let's just bring that down to 20 and we'll play this video again. And then that will be pretty much it for this tutorial guys. So now let's go back down to record mega live. We're going to stop that playback, hit the menu button, go back into the record. And that was number two record session number two. So we'll go to two and start that playback. So now you can see it, it zooms in on it a little more. Um, so you can see the branches, you can see the fish around there. Like I said, this recording is real short, but it was just for the purpose of showing you guys how to utilize the record um, option on your unit. And this is a Helix unit. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do the same thing on the Solix and the Apex, but the options may be a little different on there. All right, guys, if you have any questions or, you know, any comments that you would like to add to kind of help everybody out or anything that you have done as far as using the record session make sure you leave that down in the comments as always guys i appreciate you supporting the channel please make sure you hit the like button and share these videos we are continuing to grow and i will keep these videos coming guys i appreciate it and i will see you on the next one